Hey there, this is Katherine Cartwright. Welcome. Today I'm going to be making a quick, easy card using a stencil and some stencil butter. If you're not familiar with that product, uh, stick around and I'll show you what it is. So I'm going to begin by stenciling onto some smooth Bristol cardstock. That is my preferred cardstock for stenciling. It just takes the ink so well. It gives you a second before it kind of sets up into the paper so you can move that ink around really well. So it's my favorite. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I use that all the time. I take a pad of paper of the cardstock and I cut it down to four by five and a quarter inches. So that way I have a big stack of it always ready to use with my stencils. I am using Distress Ink. I've got Candied Apple and Blueprint Sketch here, some bright colors. Uh, for my fireworks on my card um, and so that's it that just I just stencil those two colors very quickly and you've got a background you could stop there if you wanted to you don't have to use the second layer but I definitely wanted to add some of these stars so I'm just holding up the second layer to kind of see where I want to place this one you can see it's sort of in a circle uh, pattern so it goes beautifully around those other fireworks I'm going to add a little bit of mint tape to the back to keep it where I want it to go. And I've got a little uh, non-stick mat underneath. I had two colors pulled out. I had platinum and the gold, but I decided just to go with the gold on this. So stencil butter, if you're not familiar, it is a texture kind of paste. But to me, it's a little bit thinner than a texture paste. Paste and so it um, you don't want to push too hard on your stencil or you'll smush it through But it has a pretty good body to it and I really enjoy working with it I have used it many many times over the last couple of years and I think I have most of the colors That's one of the main things that caught my attention about this product. It is it is so bright and colorful um, And I love that so you can see this is really vibrant this gold and it's really going to show up against this white um, cardstock. So I love it. But I have a bunch of different colors. And it's just really, really fun to, to use. I've got my Nouveau spatula here that I really enjoy using with this product as well. Um, it works really, really well. And is often used in my craft room with my paste. And there you go. That's how quick and simple it was. So just a two-step process there. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to run, I've got a little border die that is from a Christmas set um, that I got a while ago. I'm pretty sure that's scrapbook.com as well. It had a little border that has little stars in it and I thought that would work well with this uh, background that I've created. So I've just run that through and then I'm going to glue that down and trim, um, trim it to fit. And then I can layer my card together. I did off camera go ahead and stamp and uh, heat emboss a sentiment. Happy 4th of July because that is what this card is for. But I definitely think you could use the stencil for a lot of different things. I'm going to use it for, um, for graduation and certainly for birthday cards. I think that would be a lot of fun to create. A background with a bunch of colors and then you also could put the stars anywhere you want onto your paper you could put them onto the center of your um, fireworks so that's the fun part too about a stencil is you can kind of use it however you want to all right so I've got my little strip of paper there of stars added and now I can layer this together I've got a piece of bright blue cardstock and then I'm gonna layer that onto a red bright red card base that is A2, which is five and a half by uh, four and a quarter. And then I've got that sentiment that I'm going to add on there. And that came from the Stamps of Life. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not, but I'll link that in the description. And that is going to be it for this card. I told you it was quick and easy. And I just wanted to share a little something for the holiday weekend. Um, if you're celebrating, I hope you have a great time. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.